Good morning, it's July 7th. Hopefully you're getting through the week. I know that it feels long, even though that we had the fourth off, but we're here to talk a little bit about what's going on with Alibaba. You can hear from our longbow notes if you read those. Um, obviously there's looks like there's going to be a finale to this where they'll have some sort of penalty. They're saying, or at least the whisper number is about a billion point one uh, against Ant and financial, then that would actually allow for the company to break into the pieces, do IPOs, unlock hopefully shareholder value if you are an investor or you're watching that. But maybe even bigger picture, it may signal the end to the Chinese government really kind of rattling the cages for some of these companies. Um, there's some whispers out about um, some finales here for Tencent as well. So today I wanted to go to the Longbow dashboard and show you how do you look like at a stock like Alibaba from a technical perspective, and then given some news, which is more fundamental, incorporating that into playing it going forward. So let's take a look here. So here I've got Baba, and you can see it's overbought today because people are really excited now. Uh, hopefully, hoping here that there's going to be some sort of resolution, things can move forward, unlocking shareholder value. But obviously, it's been more bearish. Chinese market has been down. There's been more pressure on the tech stocks. Medium term, it is bearish. It's an implied dollar to premium, interestingly. Uh, but typically, when you have, you know, call it, you know, almost 10 to 1 negative odds, you're not going to be going into the stock. And you certainly typically aren't buying in when you have bearish momentum on the short term and the medium term. But this fundamental point, which is why you're seeing the overbought, may change the game of unlocking shareholder value. So how, like, what do you do with that? A lot of people are asking. So what you can see here, similar to the um, many Chinese positions, um, there's been a movement downward. That's why we're showing bearish short-term, bearish short-term momentum. But you get this fundamental play. So you get on a really short-term, boop, you get a little pop up, you're above the high end of the range. And so you may not need to wait until the signal here is neutral slash um, bullish or medium term getting there. Because if you're doing the math on fundamental points and think you're at the point where you can unlock some shareholder value, you might be able to make that assumption that things are going to move. Obviously, if you think this is very undervalued, if you don't, <laughs> then you're going to want to stay away. Maybe you want to short it. Um, you would have a really different view on how to trade the position in the short term. But also remember that some of the flows here come from institutions. And so there were a lot of people hoping for, number one, that the reopening for the Chinese economy would be a lot bigger and sustaining than it has been. And then some of the data coming out more recently about the consumer being slightly weaker than expected. And then also for China not going the stimulus route, so nothing that's going to really move the dial in terms of overall global growth. Expectations are probably for about 5%, um, and they're happy with that. And that's a pretty strong number, but they're not going to be fueling to have inflation pop up and a lot more demand, most likely. And so you're not going to see a lot of people then saying, hey, we need to go throw a ton of capital into this market because stimulus is coming. People were waiting for it. So you might not get that macro pop, it's going to be navigating for which company you're owning. So something like Alibaba, that you're going to be looking at the tech, the IPO spinouts, the competitive nature, any sort of um, headline risk for um, more rattling the cages between the U.S. and China. But from the momentum indicator, you could maybe make some assumptions of changes if you think that that value is going to be unlocked, um, because then you might see this coming back to a different trajectory and then when you're at a oversold signal, not today, obviously, you would have more comfort into buying into the stock um, because the fundamentals have changed. So a day like today, you're not doing anything um, unless you really think that this is just a ruse and they're not gonna be able to have some sort of fee and settle this and move forward. Um, but if that is the case, then you can kind of assume these more of a neutral position, wait for a pullback if you're looking to enter it long from a fundamental standpoint. That's how we would use the dashboard, giving a very, very specific example. And you could translate that, though, into different stocks. So you don't just have to say, OK, where is it on the trading range? You can put your thinking cap on, put a few of the signals together, and then say what would happen if certain things uh, occurred. And if this is this new information that's going to change the trajectory and then make different decisions. 
Well, that's it for today. Have a wonderful weekend, and we'll catch you back in the summertime on the 10th on Monday. Take care.